Right, welcome to a series of videos where I'm just going to show you working through a new build of Windows 10, the things I do to clean up that build and, and to get it a bit more privacy aware than what Windows 10 can be considered being and to, and to get rid of some of the crap that's, that's built in there by default. So the first episode, then this one, we're actually going to cover removing those default apps, the ones that are installed already. So if you open your start menu, you'll see, you know, Get Office, Solitaire, Collections, OneNote, stuff like that that's just been built in there that we maybe don't want, okay? What I am going to say before we crack on, there is some important information in the description which I'll refer to throughout the video. And do a system restore point before we continue in case something goes wrong. It shouldn't do, but again, you are doing this at your own risk. Okay, it is fine. It should be, you know, perfectly acceptable. If you don't, if you listen to the information I give you, it should be fine. But I'm not going to hold myself responsible if something goes wrong at your end. Okay, but it should be good. Let's do this. Let's just, let's just jump in and get rid of this stuff. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is open your start menu. Type in PowerShell and right click Windows PowerShell ISE and click Run as Administrator. If user account control gets involved, just click Yes. Now you probably get some variation of this window depending if you've used it before or if it's not set up like this. You might be able to see this window. If anything, you can just press this little arrow and you've got just the blue screen. Okay, and we're going to write a command directly in here before we write a full script. First thing we are going to do is get hyphen apex package. Okay, and spelled app wrong. Sorry, let me fix that. Two P's, Apex package. And we're going to pipe that. And what that means is for those of you who haven't done PowerShell before, if you hold Shift on a UK layout and press backslash, you should get that vertical line. Okay, and we're going to do format hyphen list hyphen property name. Okay, and we're going to pipe again and do out file. And we'll do C backslash and we'll just call it apps.txt okay now what this does the first part of the command will get all of the app packages already installed on your machine it's going to put them in a list and it's only going to give us the name of that property because there is other bits that we don't need it's going to stick it in a text file okay so once you've done that if you just press enter you'll find in your c drive now i'll just quickly get there this list of apps now the only reason we push this out, you can just use what's in the description in a second, which is a piece of uh, script that is exactly set up to not remove the ones that cause issues. But maybe you want to cherry pick only a few. Maybe you want some of these apps in. You can use this list to get the app's exact name. I have put in the description a list of ones I do not recommend removing. They do cause issues. So if you remove Shell Experience Host, for example, that will cause you problems. All right. So as I say, head down to the description and get the list of the ones I suggest you don't remove, take them out of your list, and then you can either start cherry picking, or you can just use the script that's in the bottom of the description anyway, because that's gonna be the finished product. All right? For those of you that are gonna jump ahead and just copy and paste that script and run it, again, on your head be it. It should be fine, but let me explain what it does for those that don't know. So the first thing it does is we're gonna make an array, and array is just basically a variable that holds lots of values. All right, to cut it short. So I'm just going to copy and paste it to save me some time. So in the description is that array. Okay, so we're calling it apps. And it's got all of the apps separated by commas within quotes of the ones that are safe to remove. Okay, so it's just a big list of them. And then we're actually going to work with that list. Okay, so what we're going to do is for each, open our brackets, dollar app. So not apps, just dollar app in dollar apps, close brackets. And what that means is, it's going to run this next piece of code individually for each one of these apps that's in this list, basically. Open curly braces, press enter, press enter again, close curly braces. And we need to do the rest of this program inside these curly braces, okay? So what we're actually going to do then, we're going to do get hyphen app x package hyphen name dollar app. Okay, then we're going to pipe that. So remember, shift and backslash, remove apex package. Right. So for each one of these, basically every time it runs, it's going to get the first one, for instance, replace the dollar app with that. So it'll say get apex package, Windows communications app, and then it'll remove it. Then it'll go to the next one and do that again. And so on and so forth, and it'll work its way through. Let's say you want to keep Bing Weather or 3D Builder, just delete it from the list. Okay, so if you want to keep it, just delete it from the list and it'll stay. Again, if you want to run this, if you're confident what you're doing, just hit play 
and it's going to cycle through the apps. You will probably get one or two that pop up saying it can't remove them because there is a couple in there. Yeah, so I think it's something like Connect or something like that. Yeah, Contact Support and Xbox Game call Callable UI. They, they can't be removed like this. Okay, but that's it. If you open your start menu now, a huge chunk of them has gone. Now, there are a few that seem to slip through the net. So you've got Sway and stuff like that, but you can just right click and uninstall. So you can work your way through your start menu, just getting rid of the last few that have made it through the net. Okay, so just work your way through and get rid of whatever you don't want. Now this is the most basic iteration of this. We've just got rid of this for you as a user. If you are interested in removing it for all users, or what's called the provision packages. Now, if you were to create another user account and log in, it will reinstall those apps on that new user account. Head over to another video that will be hopefully up in a couple of days that goes into this in much more detail on a more administrative scale. So for those in, um, you know, that work maybe as a technician somewhere or anything like that that need to do this on a more administrative level, it will cover how to remove it for all users and how to remove it for future users. But for the most basic users, for most of you out there, this will do. It's got rid of a majority of the crap that was built in there. Okay, if you didn't want to write that out yourself, the script's in the description below. If this has helped you out, you know, you can hit that like button. If you need help with any of this, just stick a comment and I'll get back to you about it. Okay, but that's the first thing I do. Okay, when I've built a fresh operating system, first thing I do is I hop into here and I remove these packages it's built. Okay, I hope that's helped you. I hope it's got rid of those apps for you and you've worked your way through the last few. And now I'll see you in the next video where we'll cover some of the privacy parts of Windows 10 and, and what we can do there to, to stop it being so nosy.